In this video, I am going to discuss about the generalized additive models. I am going to use the SAS procedure PROC GAM for that. The generalized additive models are a special class of models which come under the non-parametric class of regression models. These models do not assume the linear relationship between dependent and independent variables. When the dependent variable is not normally distributed, then also generalized additive models can be used. To illustrate uh, an example, uh, I am going to take the data set uh, which is, uh, whose name is kyposis. So what I intend to find here is that kyposis is, is a disease and I just want to know the factors responsible for this disease. So I have got three explanatory variables age, the uh, starting of the vertebrae and the number of uh, the levels, starting level and the number of levels. So these are the three explanatory variables and then our dependent variable is a binary one. Uh, whether kyposis is there or not okay and kyposis is a disease so for that i'm going to assume that uh, there is uh, no uh, linearity hence i'm going to use the proc ga and we will also use another model which is the proc uh, gen mode uh, the uh, generalized linear model uh, which assumes linearity and we'll see how, what is what are the differences so uh, the syntax is like this proc gm data and the data set in the model statement we are modeling for event one so where we need to specify it and then uh, each explanatory variable will be uh, given inside the keyword spline which uh, says that there could be non-linearity in the data set but remember that uh, we may not we may not use this non-linearity condition in all the explanatory variables we may also uh, omit uh, one or two variables it, it's perfectly okay so in that case it is going to be semi-parametric that means a couple of variables are linearly distributed and others are uh, non-linearly distributed so that would be the assumptions so uh, and that that will come from the uh, exploratory data analysis well wherein we'll get to know which variables are uh, linearly uh, distributed or uh, they have linear relationship or which of these variables do not have a linear uh, relationship so and we are using the distribution is binomial because uh, this is a, a binary model when we run this we will get a result like this and then um, the result is going to be different from what we have seen in logistic regression uh, we will straight away go to the uh, model parameters and uh, you can see that uh, uh, much like our uh, regression models we will be getting uh, the parameter estimates the t values and the p values Two of our variables are significant or near significant, uh, the age and the start, uh, start word. Um, and let's see uh, that if we use a linear model in this case, what is going to happen? So using PROC gen mode, we can build a linear model with the same uh, setup, so the same model definition, same explanatory variables. Um, let us run this. As you can see that um, now we have got only one significant variable only start word is the significant variable age which was almost significant in the uh, previous case when we used proc gn is no more a significant variable looking at the p value as you can see the p values well that that is due to the reason that age has a nonlinear relationship with uh, kyposis uh, or the event kyposis so that is not uh, is uh, captured by the linear model hence having a non-parametric model is going to uh, be more efficient in terms of capturing the relationship 